Christmas Island has been inundated by tens of millions of red crabs scuttling from the forest to the coastline. The Extraordinary Migration is a yearly event beginning with the first rainfall of the season. Joining us live now from Christmas Island is Tanya Detto from Parks Australia. Tanya, appreciate your time. We've seen these remarkable pictures coming through that will show our, our viewers. How do you actually plan for this each year? I understand you have to erect kilometres of barriers in the lead up to this happening. Uh, yep, that's right. So in the month or two before the migration starts, we have to put up all these crab fences. So there's some permanent ones that are there year round and also some temporary ones that we put in just before the migration. And they lead the crabs into these sort of crab cattle grid covered crossings. So they go underground in these tunnels and we've got to clear all those crossings out of dirt so the crabs can get through. It's a big job. And what is the red crab? Yeah, I, I bet it is. What is the red crab, crab migration actually triggered by? Sorry, what does it look like? Uh, what is it? What is it triggered by? What what kicks it off? Uh, it's here? triggered by the. Oh, it's a combination of the rains and a certain tide that the crabs need to spawn by. So, the spawning date is set each year. Uh, this year, it's around. Well, every month, it's at the 28th, 29th of November, and sort of at the end of each month this year. And that's just determined by the phase of the moon. So they wait for the neap tide in the morning uh, and get the outgoing tide. And then two weeks before that date, they need to get to the coast and mate so that they're ready to incubate their eggs for two weeks. So they basically need it to rain in time for them to get down to the coast by that mating date. So it's all it's all set up. And I, we don't know how the crabs know when to go, but they, they just somehow know. The mystery of nature. I read that each female crab releases up to, I think it's 100,000 eggs into the Indian Ocean. How many of those actually yep. become baby crabs? And then where do they go? Where do they end up? Oh, well, that's a bit of a mystery as well. So, yeah, the big females will release about 100,000 eggs. The smaller ones are a bit less. Um, once they hit the water, they actually hatch on contact with the water. So as soon as they hit the water, they turn into these little larvae. And as far as we know, they sort of head out to sort of the drop-off and hang out in the... Um, just around the island in a good year. Uh, in a bad year, they might get caught up in the currents and get swept away, and then there's very little chance that they'll actually get back to Christmas Island. So if it's a good year and they stay around the island, they'll come back after three or four weeks as little tiny, tiny megalops, which look like little baby crabs, and they'll come out of the water and back into the land and head up into the forest to join their parents. I know in previous years, tourists have come from all over the world to see this phenomenon. It must feel, feel pretty quiet on the island this year with the strict travel restrictions still in place, but do locals still get a kick out of it? Or is it just... It's actually <laughs> probably one of our busiest years for tourists. We have a lot of WA tourists coming over that wouldn't normally make it just because they don't have the ability to travel overseas. So we're sort of reaping the benefits of that. Um, yeah, we have a lot less international tourists, but a lot more local tourists here at the moment. Our flights are pretty much booked out or have been for a year. Yeah, right. Okay. But locals still get a kick out of seeing the crabs each year? Yeah. Uh, the locals, you can't really miss the crabs. They walk through a house. They, they're they just everywhere. So locals don't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, right. Danny Dado, I appreciate you joining us live there from Christmas Island. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. See ya.